Welcome to a very quiet and casual community gathering to watch the first Asian American family sitcom in 20 years. This was supposed to be like 20, 30, 50, 100 people. Uh, 1,400 people RSVP to this. They're still coming in now. So glad to see many, many people I recognize here. But you know what? I'm here just to introduce the guy who really made this possible. I'm Jeff Yang. You may know me better as the father of Hudson Yang. But Hudson Yang would not be Hudson Yang on this show if it weren't for this man. Where's Eddie Huang? Eddie Huang! We here. Everybody knows why we're here. It's Killer Cam's birthday. Happy birthday, Killer Cam. Happy birthday. What up, Hudson? What's up? What's up? So, a long, a long time ago, like 1999, I applied to college at Syracuse University. I wanted to go to Syracuse because uh, I wanted to be a sportscaster. And I got into college. I told my parents, and my dad said, uh, you know you don't really need to bother going to Syracuse because they'll never let somebody with your face on television. And that was, that was about 16 years ago. And um, you know, it really stuck with me because something's definitely wrong when your own parents don't think you can do something because of structural racism in a country that you live in. And it, and it stuck with me and I told myself that when I left Orlando and I came up to New York that I would write about my experience kind of being trapped in that cul-de-sac suburban life and make sure that this story about Asian America, my particular story, was told. But this moment means a lot to me, and, and I've written about it a lot, not, not because this story is a genuine reflection of my life or authentic to my life or specific to my life, but because this is the first story about a Taiwanese-Chinese American family that has been allowed on network television. And today, we've arrived. We've arrived. And it's a very, very exciting moment. It's a very surreal moment. And I thank everybody, because without everybody's support, everyone that ever bought weed from me in the park, a t-shirt from me on the train, you know, my man Stephen Lau is in the building. You know, when I was broke in law school and couldn't pay my rent, Stephen Lau paid three months of my rent. Let me take eight months to pay him back and I wouldn't be here without Stephen Lau. Um, you know, we sold sneakers, t-shirts, whatever together to get by. And anybody who bought a t-shirt, I know some of y'all are in here. Thank you. Um, Rafael Martinez, you know, you found me in law school. You was the only one. Puerto Rico is definitely in the building tonight, fam. And um, you know, you held me down when I didn't think we could get through that. And when we started reading court cases proving more structural racism, um, you know, you told me that we could make a difference and we could change. And like, Biggie and Puffy was gonna change the world, you know what I'm saying? So, Rafael Martinez, I see you. And of course, my brother, Evan Huang. Um, man, oh, Evan's in the building right here. All right, all right. Ladies, be careful, he's a shysty one. <laughs> but, no man, like, um, when I opened Bauhaus, I didn't have money to pay employees. So Evan flew up from Orlando. He was supposed to come up for two weeks, worked at the restaurant with me, got caught up and fell in love with the city like all of us, and stayed. And um, he stayed longer than I have, and uh, I wouldn't be here without Evan, I wouldn't be here without Bauhaus. But really, I wouldn't be here without all of the people, white, black, yellow, brown, you know, Puerto Rican and Haitian that support me all these years. Um, I've always been a weirdo, I've always been an outlier, and all I want y'all to know is that like, if I can do it, if a short chubby Chinese kid from Orlando can do it, right? Y'all gotta tell your stories. Y'all gotta tell your stories, you know, like, excellent writers in the building, Elena Bergeron, J. Kang. J. Kang gave the book to Melvin Marr. Without J. Kang, this show never happens. Without Elena Bergeron holding me down, this never happens. Mark Gerald, my agent is in the building. Joel Taribo, my Chase Banker is in the building. Right. Chase Bank, I see you. J 
Joel, I'm gonna be at your spot. We're gonna count this money tomorrow. But until then, everybody who's out there, whatever you are, please tell your stories because this got us on base. But somebody out here in this crowd gotta bring us home. All right. Hold up, play that Danny Brown. Yeah. Hold up, we got the world premiere. Danny Brown is in the fucking building. We're making a countdown now to 8.30. The first episode of Fresh Off the Boat to ever air on broadcast primetime network TV is coming up. All of you guys who heard Eddie Huang out there, you listen to what he says. We got to tell our stories now. This is our turn. And you can begin tonight by live tweeting this event. There is, in fact, internet in the building. If you hear Circle Guest, you're on that? Please tell the world what you're seeing, what you're thinking. Live tweet pictures of this group here, and these kids up here, and all those guys out there. All right? This will be a great night. Have a great time. In a few minutes, it all begins. <laughs>